and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a quick crunch effect. Just a quick tutorial today. I've applied this effect right here to the original and it makes it look dirtier and gives it this typical crunch effect. To achieve it I will just use a texture. Let me just import a new texture and I'll show you step by step how I applied it. So if you type in grunge texture into a search engine or unsplash, you can find images like these. Drag and drop them onto your canvas. Then use the scale tool. Hold control when you scale it from left to right. Confirm via scale. It should be as big as a canvas. Let me rename it. I call it new grunge texture, so you can see it right here as my top layer. And I've made the one that I had previously invisible. And below the original, this is the photo of the car. I'm on my grunge texture, so the new one. And I can also rotate it. Just use to rotate to here, left click on it. Maybe I use 90 degrees, I confirm. When you've got the position that you want, just set the blending mode to overlay. You can obviously try other blending modes, but overlay usually works best for these effects. This one's too intense, so I'm going to go down with the opacity for my new grunge texture, which would be the second step to adjust it. And then you're already there. One additional tip, if you use a colored grunge texture, just go to colors and use saturation right here. And then go down. In my case, I've used black and white, but still I want to go down to zero. And then I confirm we are okay. And this is already it. This is how I would apply a grunge effect to photo in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.